All right, before I give you your assignment, I wanted to go over one last thing. I, I said you can use the clip curve brush, so I want to show you how to use it. Uh, it's very simple. If you notice, I'm in the pinch brush, but I chose the clip curve brush. Okay, That is because in ZBrush now, you can have multiple brushes hooked up on different keystrokes. In other words, all the clip brushes exist on control and shift. Okay, Masking brushes are control, which we'll get into masking later. And then sh smooth brushes are on shift. And then standard brushes are on nothing. Okay, Now, after a while, after using ZBrush 4, even for a few days, you're going to learn how to play the piano like a yeah, like Mozart, because you're always constantly switching between control, shift, shift, control, and nothing. <laughs> da -da -da. But yeah, here is the clip brush anyway. So shift and control. What this brush allows you to do is, let's say I need to flatten out an area like this one. Well, see that shadow that's occurring? Everything in the wake of that shadow will become flat just like that. So I can quickly go in here and say, well, I need this entire surface up here to be flat. Well, there we go. It's flat on that one area. And I can't tell you how helpful that is. Um, I guess you would have to not have it to know what I'm talking about, but that is a very handy feature. There we go. And then you could possibly use the pinch brush to go in here and strengthen that form up. So what did I just do is topology wise? What happens to uniformity if I do this? Well, let's look at uniformity for a second. Let's go back to its polyframe. And you can see that because you did that, you went across. See how this this line right here? Okay, that's your poly structure. I went across that, which, as far as like eight million polys are concerned, or whatever this is, that's fine. But just know that later on, when you lower the res, it doesn't look all that good. And let me let me show you an alternative to it. If I have something like this, I'm going to break the rules and go to the standard brush and, and go like that a couple times. And I'm going across these, these sections right here. And I'm just going to hold shift and smooth. I'm using the topology as a way of changing a real sharp curve or flattening out an area. So at, at a higher level, if I go to use S polish and H polish, like H polish for example, and then go to the pinch. I'm just going to let you know that that right there will yield a really good normal map. And I'll get what normal maps are um, in later lessons. But I would say, you know, learn to sculpt now for later lessons. And this will produce a nice normal map. This one will produce a normal map that goes across several sections of poly, but it's not, it's not going with the polygon structure at all. So... That's the difference. It's totally legit to do. I'm just letting you in on a secret later on. Okay? So there we go. Using the form itself and its polygon structure to sculpt. This is what that's what I'm gonna call that. 
because now you can see that in level two, look at, I could still see what that's doing. Over here, not so much. All right, now in the next video, I'll give you your assignment. I just wanted to go over the clip brush and how to use it.